All right, what's up, guys? Joko Sewer here, and today I'm going to be doing the seed of the week for Just a Time. Uh, it's going to be a Lost World seed this week. They've pretty much been alternating between Lost World seeds and like normal vase flags and whatnot. So this week's going to be Lost World. So uh, for those who don't know what Lost Worlds is, it's basically a mode where you start in the future and you have to uh it's pretty much you have to make do with what you're given you only have the future the uh, dark ages and the prehistory time eras unlocked and you have to unlock the others yourself and the way to unlock the others is you have to beat the first form of lavos so basically we have to either collect the ruby knife or the um, Dreamstone to get to Tabano Lair and go to Ocean Palace, go to Lavos and beat the game that way. Or you have to do the Black Omen, which you need the Chrono Trigger and the Clone. So it's pretty much, uh, Go Mode is pretty much the same as in a normal seed. It's just you have to play the seed uh, pretty much backwards, pretty much. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, you also have to play with a max of not you don't have to but four characters you get two at the start and then you get one at um protodome and then one at dactyness but the other three characters are locked behind 600 and a thousand which you can't get to unless you beat lawless first so yeah that's lost worlds in a nutshell um we're gonna go ahead and get started here and we get access to the shop, the not Medina, the uh, Millennial Fair shop, but we're not going to buy anything except for some shelters and revives because um, hopefully we'll find some decent stuff on the way. So we start with Marl and Luca, which is probably one of the weaker starts in Lost Worlds, unless I'll check I'll check the text in a minute. Unless they start off with like Ice 2 or Flare or something like that, but I don't know. But like I said, I'll check the text in a minute. I want to come in here and grab some stuff real quick though. Okay, we got Shiva Edge. That ain't bad. That'd be nice if we find Chrono. Let me do this real quick. Okay, we got Haste, Ice Cure. Okay, there's Flare, Mega Bomb. All right, that's not that's not even a bad start actually. That's not even a bad start. We want we want to find Ethers for sure though. Uh, it's time to get ten of those. Mid Ethers are too expensive. Lost Worlds, you really have to keep tab of your uh, money supply because you don't get a lot of it. And like I said earlier, you have to play with what you're given. So you don't get a lot of resources. So that's why you kind of have to spend your money wisely. You start up with 30,000 G, but you have to spend that wisely. Like, especially with a start like this, you don't really need weapons. Because right now we want ethers. And like I said earlier, mid ethers are nice, but they're too expensive right now. Okay, we got a dark home. Uh, we're gonna come over here and see who's here. We gotta kill these guys first though. Okay, she's gonna get shocked, that's fine. Now, the other interesting thing about Lost Worlds is you start off with magic already, as you can see, and you start off with, you start out at level 15 with your first three techs unlocked already. So there is that to work with. It's not like you have to, oh jeez. Lobo, um, 
Lobo's nice and all, but I kind of want to check the deck on this character because Mauro Luca Robo is the slowest team in the game, and if I have to do Lavos with the team, then that's going to be painful. So we're going to go ahead and hit the prehistory here and see who's at Dactylness. Before I do that. Gonna go ahead and heal up. Um, there's only five checks in Lost Worlds as opposed to uh, normal race flags. Damn, the hell is with the mid ethers? I need regular ethers. I mean, uh, mid ethers are nice, but like I said, they're too expensive. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, there's only five checks on Lost Worlds. So. Lost World Seas are, in general, a lot shorter than the normal race flags, which can take... Normal race flags can take anywhere up to, like, an hour and a half, in general. Up to maybe three, four hours, depending on your playstyle and whatnot. And how long it takes you to do stuff. We're going to go ahead and make a save here. Because climbing up Dactylness with an HP party is going to be annoying. Uh, these apes are going to get first turn automatically. Normally you want someone fast like Ayla or like Krono to get first turn and then try to run before they get a turn but we can't do that in this situation. I messed that up. That's fine though. It doesn't matter if my characters die here. As long as I can run away from the fight, it doesn't matter. We got white vest. Got dreambow. Okay, we definitely want to try to get this skip here. Oh, nice. We got that first try. Which usually never happens with me. might be yeah that was too far over that was my fault that's okay though okay I forgot to check what bubble had to uh every bomb bubble tackle all right they ain't they ain't that bad we can get double V bomb I want to see who this is up here, though. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so... I want to check her stuff, though. Because if she has triple kick, then... I'm kicking Robo out. 100%. And she does have triple kick. Excellent. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and swap him in. Go ahead and go like that. Um We still haven't found ethers, which is kinda bad, so I wanna take a trip to twelve thousand real quick though before I do anything. Because we have flare and that's gonna eat up my ethers, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check that place last, actually. Because what I might end up doing is... Going to Mount Woe first, which is actually not a bad choice. We have Flare, so it's not like we can't kill anything up there. We can fight these news as well. Why not? Okay, there's our ethers, nice. And we can sell that since we won't be getting fog. I could sell that, but...
like this. Uh, might as well. I don't think I'm using Robo though. This whole seat. All right. We can fight these news here for the speed tab and the magic tab. Mostly for the speed tab though. kick on one of them I think pretty sure they don't die from this nope I probably should have swapped over so we can sh do shock but that's okay you should be dead nope you ain't dead uh, they did now. I probably should have did um, a tailspin. Alright, we're good now. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and check out Enhasa or uh, Kajar up here. We can get another speed tab. We can also check out the the new shop up here. See what's going on. See what he has. Most likely we can't afford it, so we're not going to bother. Uh, oh, you got tape invest. That's actually worth buying. And Tave Invest gives plus two speed, which is nice on Luca. What you got? Oh my god, why? Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez, game. That sucks. Seeing prison specs there where you don't have money is always a bummer. But it is what it is. Unless we run into an enemy that drops something like uh, like an elemental mail or something like that, then we ain't getting those. Save, going here. I think I'm going to do Mount Wolf first. Breakfast. I'm gonna get two of these. All right, now we're completely out of money. The mid tonics are pretty much for uh, save a little bit of time instead of casting cure, because we don't have aura, so we can't. Um, you can't use it. Mid tonic is a quicker animation than curious. Light two, protect. We're gonna go like 
this. Luca's still slower than Ayla. I'm probably going to end up killing some rebels on the way up just for the TP. Um, and the XP is nice too. and fight this. Nice. Two shot it. Good stuff. Oh, this ice two and equal three. Oh, let's go. Q two Dino Tail Flame Toss. Now with my luck. Fire 2 is going to be Luca's last tech, but I don't know. I hope it's not. Come here, fight this. to lock the ice toss cube toss nice oh was that worth getting yeah maybe yeah you can skip that encounter right there by running along the edges right there we can fight this, why not? I'm not gonna fight them all, but I usually fight a couple up here. Ladies with the crits. That's what I like to see. Go ahead and refill Lucas MP here. Now, usually what I do, I like to fight these gargoyles right here, just to see what they drop. Dang. Luka didn't get a turn. Uh, yeah, we'll flare. I don't think Ice 2 kills him, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Or maybe it does. They only they only have 500 health. Maybe it does. I don't know. Dream gun. Okay, they dropping dream guns. That ain't bad, but I'd rather not farm those. We don't fight these things though. What? Man, these things are so fast. It's ridiculous. Usually you can beat them if you have 13 speed, but sometimes you can't. Doomsickle and Elixir. You can fight this. It's probably the last one I'm going to fight, though. Two kiss flame toss. Right, we got aura charm fire. Dang. All right, fire two is Luca's last sec, unfortunately, which which sucks, but it is what it is. 
Uh, you want to run along the edge of this. We can avoid the fight that's right there. Speed tab is nice. I'm gonna walk over here. I think you can avoid this one as well. Yup. Pretty sure you can't avoid this one though. Or can you? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. I never really tried. Ah, it's too slow right there. Yeah, if you're too slow getting into the menu, though, get turns. Oh. Hello? Speed belt? What? <laughs> you give me a one shot and a speed belt? And a taping suit? Okay, I can star speed Luca here if I wanted to. Hmm. Killing each just to see what they drop. messing with that guy we don't need to go from this one 15 speed Luca though magic tab for ether not bad there's a fight right here All right, yeah, we can totally kill um, a Giga guy up here. So you can have that. It should be fine. Get your hat. Tonic, magic tab. I'm actually gonna speed tab you because you need it. First turn, we're gonna do a uh, triple kick to the right arm and then anti pro three. That should kill them both. I'm pretty sure anti pro three not gonna kill the arms. Okay, he's gonna do that. Okay. gonna get that off. Marlis, you did. He should be fine, I think. Yep. We're gonna do that. That's about 900. Alright, 
Luca, we're gonna do uh, Napalm, and then we do Ice 2. Right, we gotta hurry up and kill him now. Oh, he did. Nice. I, I, I was trying not to use ethers here. I could have, but I ain't need to. Amulet, Fleet Pass, Sonic Arrow. Everybody gets two levels. Yeah, so doing Mount Wolf first on Lost Worlds is a very viable strat because the loot on Mount Woe is, is high tier. You can run from the fights up here, um, as long as you're not too careless up here. And we get Dreamstone. Um, kind of want to do Sun of Sun here. Rather than use a shelter, I'm just going to use the Inertron here. Definitely want to take advantage of your free heal spots. Like the Inertrons and uh, the Lady in Prehistory. Which heals you for free. Instead of using shelters. Uh, Put that on you. Now we're going to haste you. You can't damage him right now until he spins, so we might as well get haste up. Sonica. It's this one. In case she gets lasered. Uh, just like always, you gotta hit hit the correct flame ten times. Laser wouldn't kill you anyway. That's all right though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That should be six, I think. Seven. Eight. He might spin. Nine. He might spin though. Yup. Wow. Unfortunate. That's probably the wrong one too. Yup. Dang. Sometimes you can sneak that that last attack in before he spins. Sometimes you can't. It's all about how fast you do your inputs. Not to hit the dang center. Oh, she died. Well, that should be it, right? And just in case it's not. Oh, 
I'm gonna leave her down. I'm not wasting a revive on her. It's only 20 TP. And we get another speed bow. What? What is this seed? Giving me all these speed items. Alright, nice. Alright, that's go mode. Um. Okay, so we gotta do Tyvano Lair. Which honestly shouldn't be too bad with Antipo 3 and Triple Kick. Alright, Marl, I'm putting this on you. I'm put Vigil Hat on her. Light Vest on her. So yeah, pretty much lost. Like I said earlier, lost world. You just have to find the correct items for go mode. Like you do in the original race flex. Except you don't have to worry about you know finding like prism shard and moonstone and whatnot because there's only five key items on lost worlds. The typical Lost World C is usually done, I want to say around an hour and a half maybe. Um, there's runners that can do, ooh, Silver Stud. There's runners that can do it in less than that, but uh, yeah, the typical C lasts about an hour and a half. Maybe two hours depending on how, how fast you go. But usually around an hour and a half, hour and 45 range. Make sure I get these dang skips right. sure that's right and it's not I think I was over too far I was too far to the right I think all right let's see Nisbo too we just gonna blow his butt up uh, Luca you can have that Ayla, you're fine. Silver Star, Speedball. Yeah, that's good enough. I could tail spin with her, but I don't need to. It's not worth it. We're just gonna leave Ayla on standby in case I need to kiss somebody, which I doubt. He's probably gonna die the next one. Honestly, I think I want to say that this is probably one of the best teams, if not the best team in the game. Because, I mean, you have access to Anti-Pro 3, you have access to Blaze Kick, you get um, 
you also get haste you get triple kick of course even things like cube toss is pretty strong I mean, the only thing this team doesn't have is AOE healing. Which, that's the only weakness this team has. We're gonna save here. Alright, let's see if I get this right. I knew it. I hate these seven of skips. Oh wow. She wasn't. She wasn't on the special attack menu. Alright, so we lose a little bit of time there, but that's fine. Oh, God, why? <laughs> Dude. Silver studs on Ayla and Luca? Why, though? Game? Alright, I need to get haste up though. Because Taveno, Taveno is actually pretty dangerous because uh, you don't know what his final attack is going to be. Especially if you kill Azela too fast like I did. Alright, Ayla, you triple kick her. Yeah, it's about 960, that ain't bad. Oh, we want to kill him fast though. Doing about three thousand a turn, which ain't bad. We should get him, especially with haste up. We should get him. Now right, we need to eat tomorrow next turn, though. Tab better glade. Uh, or, uh... Okay. Let's see. Golem, I think we can do Hypno Wave and Q Toss Strat. Probably we can do the same thing to Golden Twins when we get to them. I want to check my levels as well. Should be in the mid 20s, I want to say. 24, 25, somewhere in there. Should be.
I might have to grind a little bit once I get down to Ocean Palace. Now we go back to 12,000. Um, let me see how much money I have. Because if I have enough, I can afford a Prism Specs. Uh, 16,000, I'm probably not though. I gotta see what I have to sell. Pretty sure I don't have enough though. Uh, Dreambo. Or oh, maybe I do. Greatest. Okay, we're gonna keep that amulet. Uh, Flea Vest. I could sell that. We could sell the Vacuum. So the. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sell the flea vest and we'll sell, uh, I need like 800. Uh, and we'll sell the ruby vest. All right, cool. Can barely afford it. Uh, Prism Specs, it's pretty much one of the best accessories in the game since it boosts your damage by 50% which is huge on pretty much any character can use prism specs um, best characters you want to use them on are probably Luca, Ayla uh, Magus is pretty good with them too did I heal? I think I did The fighter characters are pretty good with prison specs too. Chrono, Robo, uh, Frog's okay with them as well. Although with Frog, probably should be healing with him, but it depends. I mean, I mean he can use prison specs, but oh, we want to hit no way. Cube toss here. I probably should have put them prison specs on Ayla now that I think about it, but that's okay. One more should kill him, I think. Yeah. I do want to grind up to Fire 2, though. Because I'm going to need Blaze Kick for levels, for sure. At the very least, for level show. And levels too, probably. Folk Charm, 860. Damn. Oh, we're 24. Yeah, I definitely got to grind. So I can't take this team to Lavos at level 24. That's just not going to happen. 
Not gonna happen, Captain. Wow. <laughs> A crisis arm, okay. Okay, game. You know I'm not using Robo. I think... I think Luca and Ayla are the same speed. Let me check. Yup, they are. That's kind of bad, actually. Um... Hmm, I might need to put speed belt on her. And of course we don't have fire world, so we gotta make do with flare. Dropping Aeon Blades. Mm, I think they sell for. Is it 6,000? I want to say. Yeah, this is why you don't want two people with the same speed here because. If you got two people with the same speed, as is the case here with Ayla and Luca, it's a toss up on which one goes first. And you want Luca to go first here. So I'm thinking about just putting that speed belt on her. This is the usual grind spot for a lot of runners right here because you get 2600 XP, 80 TP. And it's real quick if you have something like Flare or Fire World or Dark Matter or something like that. I got Cat Attack. But the key is you want you want to have a tech that kills him ASAP because you don't want these majors silencing you. So that's why it's good to have something like Flare or Fire World or Dark Matter. Um, Max Cyclone is pretty good here as well if you have Robo and Chrono, but. The thing with that is you have to put Robo in the third spot in order to use it and you have to wait slightly for the enemies to move into Max Cyclone's range. You can also use something like Falcon Hit too, but only problem with Falcon Hit is uh, Falcon Hit's been nerfed in that it uses it uses a uh, Cyclone instead of Spin Cut. As a vanilla, it's Spin Cut and Vakthor. On Randomizer, it's Cyclone and Vakthor. So. Falcon hit is weaker, but it's been changed so it hits all enemies on screen rather than enemies in a line. But you can use it here. 
it's not it's not ideal to use it here, but you can use it here. Now, unless your chrono has like a rainbow and a couple power tabs on them, or like uh, prison specs or sunshades on them or something like that, then you ain't one shot these things with Falcon Hit. It just ain't gonna happen. Twenty nine thirty five two and one hundred. Probably just gonna grind that out here and then go. Might as well. Or I could just get it on the way down. Wow. Jeez. I thought I hit right. Right, we can head on down now. We should be okay for levels, I hope. Alright, we want to not do that. We'll put Ala up front here. Now reason we'll take damage here. And so we can get her HP low enough so Dino Tail does damage based on your HP. And we want to use Dino Tail on this elevator up here. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Yeah, we should be okay. Okay. Make sure we have 45 MP, Alo, or I'll, I'll put the speed belt on her when I get down here. And we want to make sure she goes first though, on the elevator. We'll take this fight. We get fire to next fight then. Go ahead and save. Move we'll on from this fight. And now we want to set Ayla up here. Wanna go speed belt? It's 15. Yeah, we should be fine. You can also do the strat with fog and fog squash, it's the same thing. Fog, fog is a lower speed though, so you kind of have to, um, you kind of have to put a speed setup on him in order for him to get first turn, or use slower characters like Luca, Marl, or Robo, or something like that. But yeah, you want to use Dino Tail here because it's much faster than. Using anything else? Oh, aside from Fall Squash. Especially for this next fight, because otherwise, this next fight takes forever. That's what Dino Tail, you can just one shot him. And not have to worry about the counter attacks.
Oh, one of them dudes is dropping speed tabs. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to take these two scouted fights in here. The speed tabs are going to be very useful during levels. Also dropping doom sickles, which is not relevant. Probably end up putting those speed tabs on moral, and I think about it. This Luca with tab and suit should be okay. Probably do is put two on Marl and one on Luca. Slasher. Okay, Ayla, we're giving you prison specs here. Uh, your armor is real bad though. Uh, Marl, let me see. Luca, we'll give you silver stud. You're fine. Marl's gonna have silver stud as well. Okay, they should. Okay, she's got 14 speed, 11. Probably should put that tab on Marl, but it's okay. Uh, honestly, I should go like this. Yeah, we'll go like that instead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? What am I doing? Press specs. Go like this first. I forgot about these golden twins. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Uh, they might get an attack off, actually. We'll see. Yeah, I thought so. That's fine. I'm gonna have to heal her though. So she don't die to double, uh, double blip. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, well. Does she die? Yeah, I think she dies. Yeah. Alright, that was my fault. I did that wrong. She missed out on 4K XP. That's fine, though. I mean, I should have done... I should have waited for Luca and then did that first cube toss. That was a mistake on my part. But it's okay. Right, now we got to set up for levels. Right, we want Amulet on you. Yeah, I should... Yeah, my gear is kind of garbage. So we'll start. Yeah, we're good.
Alright, first turn we blaze kick and then haste moral. So she can heal. Because we only have two lapises and I want to save those for Lavos 3. Or 2 if I need to. And the only one who can get status here is Luca. But we're prepared for that. Whatever he does with obstacle. Woo, thirty eight hundred. We might have to blow a lapis here, maybe. Slow. Okay. Q2. Ayla's armor is real bad. Yeah, 300 damage. Mars gonna die, I think. Nope, he's still breathing. Kiss on Luca here. And we'll do any both through here. He should be dead, I think. I hope. You dead? Yep. Go daring. Sometimes you don't want to throw heals, you just want to throw like Cure 2 or Kiss because sometimes you need to heal and cure the status. And that's where Cure 2 or Kiss comes in handy. I uh, think we're fine with this setup. Yeah, we're good. Boomerang does like 500 to Ayla, I think. Cause like I said, her armor is absolutely terrible. We didn't find any good armor this one, aside from, you know, Taven Suit and Aeon Suit. Uh, we're gonna flare her. I'm a lapis here. I'm going haste Luca. She might die though. Let's cross my fingers. She, he don't go for her. Okay. Oh, 300. All right. I get another one off. Yep. Right, I need a lapis again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's do this. I need to get people up and fast. Elixir, uh, her. So I need her to haste. Damn. Yeah, that's gonna kill two people too. Yup. All right, I think I can. I think I can save this. Yeah, I gotta get moral situated though. Light two here. Pretty sure I can bring this back. I'm not going to be greedy here. Yeah, usually after a Shadow Doom Blaze, you have a little bit of time to recover your team before he starts attacking you again. Lavos is rough, especially on Lost Worlds, when you have a limited amount of uh, items and armor. All right, with this team, we want to go send a bit stress, a hundred percent. I want to get that center bit out of here. ASAP. I want to heal up. I've only got four mid ethers. Uh, yeah, four mid ethers. So we got to make sure we don't use them until absolutely necessary. that rainbow helm. I'll throw that on her. I figured you're gonna go for her. She might be dead, I think. I'm gonna wait for Ayla. Alright, that's fine.
Who's Lapis here? Last one, though. Wait for Ayla. That's fine. Okay, Sinner's dead. Haste her. Go to work on him. Oh, why not do that? I meant to heal Marvel right there. Alright, that guy's back. I can't wait for any port 3. Can't afford to. Now we do any of three. Game. Nice. One eleven twenty-two. That ain't bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, like I said, Lavos is very tricky because if you can't if you can't recover fast enough, it's all about your recovery game. If you have, if you have a slow team, like okay, if I would have used Robo here instead of Ayla, then I would have had a much rougher fight. Um, not saying that it can't be done with that team, but it's really difficult with Team Slowpoke. But there were speed tabs dropped dropping off the scouters or one of the scouters. I don't know which one it was but uh i guess that i mean the option was there to grind speed tabs for everybody to get max speed that is an option sometimes if you can find something that's dropping speed tabs but uh Mauro, ayla and luca is a really powerful team probably one of the most powerful teams in the game for reasons that i stated earlier um but yeah, Lavos is one of those bosses, the final bosses where you have to have you have to have good damage output, you have to have good recovery, good speed so you can actually recover in time. Um, Life 2 is real helpful against Lavos if you're using Marl. Um, especially a lot Marl, I think Marl is one of the better characters in Lost Worlds because of her utility and her kit um like if you like if you have a seed that you don't have a healer in then it's going to be a rough time because unless you find something like a bunch of mid tonics well you probably you can probably find mid tonics in the shops but unless you have a couple of lapises or you find something that has lapises as drops or something like that then you're going to have a harder time um Black Omen would have wouldn't have been bad with this team either, um, but I'm pretty sure that the clone and Chrono Trigger are probably are like Aristone or Reptite, something like that, or Geno maybe. But yeah, that's Lost Worlds. That's a typical Lost World seed. Uh, they can be difficult depending on 
what you have, what characters you have, what text you have, uh, what gear you have. And um, like I said earlier, Lavos is difficult in general. All three forms are just difficult in general. On a regular sea, let alone Lost Worlds, where you have your inventory is, um, or you have less to work with, pretty much. And you're pretty much forced to use four characters. I mean, the option is there. You have to beat the level show, though. The option is there to go unlock 600 and 1000 AD and get the other three characters. The option is there to do that. But most people, most runners, they don't really do that. But the option is there, nonetheless. All right, anyway, so that's the async uh, seed of the week for this week. Uh... Yeah, pretty typical, straightforward Lost World C, pretty much. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.